Good morning, students. Today we will start our exercise 8.2, and we will complete that. Now the first question is there. Here it is given that ABCD is a quadrilateral. ABCD is a quadrilateral. And on its two sides, ABCD, its two midpoints are which ones? P, Q, R, and S are the midpoints of the quadrilateral. Now in that quadrilateral, we have to prove here SR is parallel to that SR. Is the parallel to AC and SR is the half of AC. Here the AC is the diagonal. PQ is equal to SR. We have to also prove PQ is equal to SR. And last one is PQ RF is parallel to them. The first thing is SR parallel to that S and R R. Midpoints of sides of a triangle of triangle ABC. यहाँ पर हमने जो triangle consider किया है, that is triangle ABC. S and R are midpoints of that. Now By applying midpoint theorem, by midpoint theorem, point theorem, SR is parallel to AC, and SR is equal to half of AC. Is that clear? SR is parallel to AC and SR is half of AC. Why? Because according to the midpoint theorem, the line segment joining the midpoint of the other two side will be the parallel of the third side. The third side here is AC and half of the third side. Clear about it? Now, so the first thing is prove. Second thing, you can give the term first. Second. P and Q, P and Q are midpoints of sides of triangle. Here we are considering the triangle ABC. This is ABC. Now, by midpoint theorem. PQ is parallel to AC and PQ is equal to half of AC. Now the third thing is here. Here, from first and second, from first and second. We can say that PQ is equal to SR. PQ is equal to SR, and that what we have to prove. And we can also write PQ is parallel to SR, and give the number three. The third is we have proved that PQ is parallel to SR. And PQ is equal to S R because PQ is equal to S R and PQ is parallel to S R. Therefore, therefore, PQ R S is a parallel parallel to ground. One pair. Of equal and parallel sides. Clear about it. And the next one is here. It is mentioned that we have to take A B C D as a wrong bus. A B C D have taken as a wrong bus. Clear about it. A wrong bus in which all sides are equal, a quadrilateral in which all sides are equal. And P Q R S. Are the midpoints of it? 
and we have to prove that PQRS is a rectangle. PQRS is a rectangle. The first thing is same. We have to prove that that PQRS is a parallelogram. The first thing is same. PQRS. We have to prove that PQRS is a parallelogram. Clear about it? The first is. PQRS is a parallelogram. How will we prove that PQRS is a parallelogram? Now see that same thing we will apply as the earlier. You may question number one. We did that. Why is that? Is that we have to prove that? Okay, we have to prove that PQRS is a parallelogram. Okay. P and S are the same length. P and S are the same length. P and S are midpoints of sides. Sides. AB and AD of triangle mention कर सकते हो नेम BAD triangle BAD so by midpoint theorem point theorem we can say that TS is parallel to BD and ps is half of b next is the same q and r r midpoints of sides bc And CD of triangle BCD. Triangle BCD. So by midpoint theorem, by midpoint theorem we can write yes that QR is parallel to BD and this one first क्या रहता है? QR is equals to half of B. Second thing. From first and second, we can say that PS is parallel to QR. PS is parallel to QR and PS is also equals to QR. So what we can compute? One pair of sides equal and parallel. Equal and parallel. Equal भी है और parallel भी है. So in that case, what will be? PQRS is a parallelogram. PQRS, the form PQRS is a parallelogram. Now, up to here we have proved that PQRS is a parallelogram, and now we have to prove that. PQRS is a rectangle. What other property of rectangle is? The other property of rectangle is its diagonals are equal. Its diagonals are equal. I am defining here rectangle. A parallelogram, gram whose diagonals are equal. Diagonals are Equal is known as rectangle. So we are drawing now the the diagonals. Now dark blue will be there. Yes. Clear about it? P R and Q S. 
टू एस आर द डायग्नल्स डायग्नल्स ऑफ पैरेलेलोग्राम पी क्यू पी क्यू आर पी क्यू वाला जो पैरेलेलोग्राम है उसके क्या है एक डायग्नल हमें प्रूव करना है कि क्या है इक्वल है नाउ सी दैट BP in quadrilateral quadrilateral BC BPRC सी हो सकते हैं बी पी आर सी बी पी आर सी बी पी इज इक्वल्स टू हाफ ऑफ ए बी and rc is equals to half of c half of c now because ab is equals to cd given the form BP is equals to RC. BP is equals to RC, and because AB is also parallel to CD, we will give one. BP will also parallel to RC. BP is also parallel to RC. So what we can conclude? BPRC is a parallel gram. 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 The form PR is equals to BC. Opposite sides of that. Opposite side of sides of Parallel gram. Gram. Clear. Similarly, we can prove. We can prove that QS is equals to AB. QS is equals to AB. Considering that. ए बी क्यू एस एज अ पैरलोग्राम इसके अंदर हम प्रूव कर सकते हैं ए बी क्यू एस एज प्रूविंग ए बी क्यू एस एज अ पैरलोग्राम पैरलोग्राम ग्राम नाउ द थिंग इज आफ्टर दैट The real proof that QS is equals to AB. Now, as we know that here we can give the name first. This form we can give first, second, third, and fourth. Third. Here we can give fourth because AB is equals to BC. AB is equals to BC. Therefore, from third and fourth, we can. Say that PR is equals to QS. Diagonals are equal. Diagonals are are equal. So, what is the conclusion? PQRS is a rectangle. The final conclusion is that PQRS is a rectangle. First, we have to prove that that the PQR is a parallel gram. Next thing is here, the other more property will prove that its diagonals are equal. Yes, and after the proving that diagonals are equal, then we can prove easily that it's a rectangle. Next question, we'll see now. Now we'll see the next question. Question number three. Here it is given that ABCD is a rectangle. ABCD is a rectangle. 
और इसके अंदर पी स्टू आर एस कैसे मिड पॉइंट है एंड यू टू प्रूव दैट पी स्टू आर एस इज अम्बल सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट यू टू प्रूव दैट सेम थिंग दैट पी स्टू आर एस इज अम एज अर्म लाइक यू टू दैट इज दैट पी स्टू आर एस इज अम हाउ यू कैन प्रूव इट इज पी एम क्यू पी एंड क्यू आर मिड पॉइंट of sides ab and bc ab and bc of triangle abc abc so by midpoint sir sir pq is equals to half of ac and PQ is parallel to AC. This is the first thing. We get to know. Now next to say R and S are midpoints of R and S are midpoints of sides CD and DA of triangle. ABC. ABC जो triangles हैं उसकी जो midpoints दो sides हैं उसके क्या है midpoints हैं then it will be simply by midpoints हम it will be parallel to third side and half of the third side. Now by midpoints चलो चलो that RS is equals to half of AC. And RS is parallel to AC. Second, from first and second, we conclude. We are doing first and second one. We conclude that PQ is equals to RS and PQ is parallel to RS. One pair of parallels equal, and parallel sides. Clear about it. One pair of equal and parallel sides. So what is there for? The QRS is a parallel gram. Is a gram. Remember that figure is very important. You have to draw. Now, we have drawn that one. That we have proved that PQRS is a parallelogram. Now, what is rhombus? We are defining the rhombus here because one more property you have to prove. Rhombus is the adjacent sides. Side, M1 only one pair of parallelogram are. अगर adjacent sides का एक pair किसी भी parallelogram का क्या हो equal है, then we can call it Rhombus. So what we have to prove here that its adjacent sides are equal. So we can take two triangles, one and two. Any two triangles you can take. One, two. Yes. Now you can see in triangle APS. इसके अंदर दो साइड्स होनी चाहिए कंटिन्यूअस एडजस्टेंट साइड ये दोनों ट्रायंगल्स ले सकते हैं ये दोनों ट्रायंगल्स ले सकते हैं ए टू वी कैन टेक एन ट्रायंगल एपीएस एंड ट्रायंगल बीपी क्यू इज इट क्लियर दी पार्ट्स आर इक्वल फर्स्ट इज दैट 
KP is equals to VP. P is the midpoint of AB. Now, AS is equals to BT. Why? AS is equals to half of AD and BQ is equals to comma BQ is equals to half of BC. AD is equals to BC. Why that is they are two they two are equal is AS is equals to B2 because AS is equals to half of AD and B2 is equals to half of BC. And AD and BC are equal because they are the opposite sides of rectangle. Now, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degree. Angle of rectangle. Clear? Now, why A F A F congruency? Why F A F? congruency. Remember that here we are using SAS because because here the hypotenuse are not equal. Hypotenuse are not equal. So by SAS congruency we will triangle APS is congruent to triangle B, P, Q and by C, P, C, T C, P, C, T we can say that S, P is equals to or you can say P, Q S, P is equals to P, Q adjacent sides sides of parallelogram P Q R S जो हमने पहले प्रूफ कर लिया था, therefore P Q R S is a rhombus. तो P Q R S क्या होगा? एक rhombus होगा. Is it clear? So just focus on that. Now we will see the next question. Question number 4. Now see the last one. That here given that is ABCD is a trapezium. ABCD is a trapezium. Zoom. In which AB is parallel to CD. And it is also mentioned that EF is parallel to AB. So we can conclude that AB is parallel to EF is parallel to CD. All three are parallel to each other. Now, the next thing is given that E is midpoint point of AD. AD means we can say AP is equals to BP. AP equals to BP. The two things are given to prove. To prove that 
at this midpoint of at this midpoint of this yes to go is a the bicycle to that at the midpoint of that clear about it now what is that using the midpoint theorem yes first is we are using that midpoint theorem and another is that you can write the trans intercepts made by the transversal on the parallel line by the parallel line will be equal understand or as in the same ratio or in the same ratio clear about it but here we are using using the with the proof of midterm midpoint theorem now same triangle same triangle abd abd same triangle abd a is midpoint of ad ठीक है eo is parallel to eo is parallel to ab eo is parallel to ab so but converse of midpoint theorem theorem by converse of midpoint theorem o is midpoint of ad clear o will be the midpoint of bd the what converse of midpoint theorem states that is if a line parallel to the third side and passing through the midpoint of one side will pass the midpoint of the other side clear now next is in the first now in triangle now we will take this other triangle we can take bcd bcd yes o is midpoint point of o is midpoint of bd o is the midpoint of bd and of is parallel to cd of is parallel to cd अब हम इसे राइट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि EF इस पैरेलल टू इसके साथ EB के साथ जो हमने लिखा था और यहाँ पे लिख सकते हैं सेम EF जो है वो पैरेलल है किसके CD के व्हाट इट ओवर ओवर पैरेलल है CD के सो बाय सेम कन्वर्स कन्वर्स ऑफ मिड पॉइंट्स और हम सो F is midpoint of BC. F is midpoint of BC. That only we have to do. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Your math homework is complete. The question number one to question number four in your math notebook. Understand that one to four question you have to complete. Draw the figure also. It's compulsory for you. Understand that that question you can also do by that method that intercepts intercepts those intercepts cut by transversal parallel lines on the transversal are equal. So like. DE is equals to AE. The same ratio will be that between the OD and OB, and same ratio will be between that CF and B. Thank you.